Hey guys, Afterburn here. Yeah, you guessed it. It's time for another episode of Diecast Club and Hero Collectors and Eagle Moss, obviously. Build the Nissan R35 GTR. Let's go to the table and I'll show you what I got. All right, back at the table. Uh, since this is pack three, the free gift that everyone gets, it's gonna be hard to put on camera, so I'm gonna raise up a bit, is the binder, which holds, I think it's up to 17 issues of the magazine. And I have them in here. You just put a little tab in down there at the bottom on the centerfold. And this is book three. I already have it put in here. In book three, I'm going to do the rear gearbox and half shafts, the front gearbox and lower half shaft and gear shaft. In pack nine, we'll put the radiator and water tank. And in pack ten, it's the intercooler. More of the story, the test car, to make, making it to the track, uh, essence of the GTR, talking about the engine, about the racing legend, and we're here on, what is it, pack seven, which is the rear gearbox and half shafts. So, we'll move the binder off to the side here so I can get out all of our necessary parts. And here we have pack number seven. I'm going to show you them all. So this is the pack we'll be working with today. Excuse me. This baggie has parts for eight, all metal, all really heavy. Pack nine looks like this. It's got the radiator and the water pipes and all that fun stuff. That will be two weeks out from today. And another baggie, part 10 the intercooler and intercooler base. That's probably two, three or four weeks out from today. So, we'll get this open. Excuse me. I hope everyone's enjoying the videos so far. I try to be entertaining and informative at the same time. And <clears throat> here we go everything that we have for this section. We have the ooh, that's cumbersome. We have the rear gearbox. All metal. We have the rear gearbox base. We have the rear half shafts. Because uh, with this vehicle, the gearbox itself is located at the rear of the vehicle. Puts all the power towards the back. And then we get 
a lot of screw, one lot of screws in this. They are, oh, Hewlett Packard HP. So I'm going to get them open. I'm going to throw them in a holding container in my pillbox. fly away on me. I always save the little sticker from the screws so I can know what is what. Just down there. And so the first thing they want us to do in this is they want us to take the rear gearbox, we're going to turn it over like that, and we're just going to attach the rear base so that it matches the design here, and you can tell that it's going to match, not only because of the, the pegs with the screw holes in it on this side, but you can see, you know, do it like that, and you flip it over, and it'll just fit in like so. And these take two of our four HP screws. So let me get this squared away. Next one. And after that, it's dead solid. It's not moving anywhere. Next thing it wants us to do is to slot the left half shaft in. And I don't know if you can tell, but the left shaft is going to be this one with the shorter peg on it. And that's going to fit in here, and then the right one will fit in over here. Now, the problem with this round and part eight is that these pieces are not being held in. They won't be held in until we install the whole thing together into the frame. So what they want you to do is to keep all of these pieces safe. Like all this will be inserted into here next next week when I do it. But they don't get held in until, like I said, we get more pieces. So it's kind of weird that they even gave them to us if they didn't want us, if they weren't going to, ooh, excuse me, they weren't going to do anything with it. It just seems like a waste because they come out really, really easily. But that is the build for part, num for, uh, part seven. And like I said, next week we will do the front gearbox and, and shaft assembly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Very quick one today. Uh, on the docket coming up, I do have some more 
Iron Factory figures that have come in. I'll probably get maybe one or two videos out this week with them. So, until next time, stay frosty, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.